Hello friends, welcome to nf 3 ds Max tutorial. In this lesson, we are going to learn about some more spline tools. I find these three tools very useful. I use them a lot, so I want to just dedicate a lesson to these three tools. These are Fillet, Chamfer and Outline. Uh, this is Gökçe from CGK.com, by the way. Uh, let's start with a rectangle. Let's go to Create, Shapes, Splines and Rectangle. And let's create one in here. And I want to go to the Modify tab. Uh, you may be tempted to change the values from here, the dimensions, but I don't really recommend you to use here. Let's just, after you draw something or create something, directly go to the Modify tab and this will be, uh, this will help you avoid a lot of troubles uh, later on. Let's change the uh, dimensions to 100 by 50. And let's hit W and just center the rectangle. I can also hit T. Uh, to go to the top view and let's hit G to get rid of the grid so that we can see a little bit better. Uh, okay, I, right now uh, I want to be able to apply the edit spline tools on this. So either I can uh, add an edit spline modifier on top in here or I can just right click convert to editable spline. Uh, right now I'm going to use the edit spline modifier. Uh, I usually use this whenever I can. Uh, if this modifier stacks grows too long, then I'm going to just convert them to editable splines or editable polys. Uh, but uh, usually I recommend you to use the modifier. Uh, it's a little bit more advanced. The reason is if you change something in the edit spline mode, then you can't go back uh, and edit the rectangle. Uh, but uh, if you don't change the segments count or vertex count, then you can you will be able to still change the shape. So it's a little bit uh, advantages but a little bit advanced to you so um, try to play with it and try to understand how it works okay right now the, uh, the this lesson subject was uh, the three um, useful tools in here fillet chamfer and outline now let me show you how these work uh, the most uh, common way to use this is just to select a vertex and type in a value in here like uh, let's say I want to fill it fill at this corner 10 centimeters I will just going to right away write 10 and you can see that we have a fillet in here uh, with 10 centimeters of radius, okay? Uh, one of the most common mistakes uh, that's made in here is when you select this and click on the spinner once, you think because the value stays at zero, you think that nothing happened, but it instantly creates a small fillet in this corner, as you can see. So. Be mindful about this. If you do this, you can just hit Ctrl Z and un undo this and change the value in here. But let me do the, the, the mistake again. Uh, the vertex is selected. I just clicked once on the spinner. Uh, the problem with this is then you can't select these and just change the fillet value again, okay? Because it already filled at the corner. So let's undo it again. Uh, so be mindful about this. But other than that, it's uh, pretty straightforward in my opinion. You can select it, you can type in values, or what you can do is you can just click and hold on the spinner and just move your mouse up and down. And this will also help you uh, see the value in real time in here and also in the scene. So you can play with this a lot. And also you can select multiple vertices and fill it them. You can see that it works as well. Uh, by the way, for only visual purposes, I'm going to get rid of these uh, Bezier handles. To do that, I'm going to undo. Uh, while these all are selected, I'm going to right click and change this to corner and then play with the fillet value. Ah, okay, the, after the fillet, they reappear, so whatever. But you can change the uh, vertices to corner uh, like this. Okay, let's undo this again. And let's select all these and type in a value this time. Let's type in 10 and you can see that we have filtered all the corners uh, with 10 centimeters. Okay, uh, one more trick I can show you while using these uh, spinners is uh, you can hold Alt and Control at the same time you are playing with the spinners, which will help you uh, nudge the spinners a little bit slower or faster. Try a more precise value from here in here. You can hold Alt and play with the spinner and it will make the values change a little bit smaller. As you can see, it makes them change like 0.1 centimeters at a time. Let's undo this. If I don't hold Alt, it, they change one centimeter, one centimeters at a time. Let's undo this. And if I hold Control, then they will change 
10 centimeters at a time. So it's happening much faster as you can see. Okay, uh, these are uh, all the things I want to show about fillet and let's go to chamfer. They, they work uh, exactly the same. You don't need to uh, relearn anything in here. They, uh, th just the result is a little bit different than fillet. Chamfer, what it does is it just uh, creates a triangle at the corner this time. Let me show that to you. I can just increase the chamfer value and you can see that we have these triangles, uh, one by one triangles. Uh, at the corners of the or the vertices that were selected okay uh, this doesn't have to be a rectangle corner of course uh, any vertex will work like let me show the same thing to you in here as you can see it doesn't need to be a 90 degree corner it works in here as well okay but for now let's delete this and play with this uh, i'm going to undo okay uh, and you can do all this, all the things, all the same things. I, you can hold Alt and play with this, hold Control and play with this. Type in values in here, and everything I showed you in Fillet works uh, here as well. And also one more uh, way to use these uh, both is you can just click on the tool and then just click on the vertex and drag this up and down. And you can see that it works this way as well. I don't really like to use it this way, so. Uh, uh, it didn't pop uh, my mind, uh, pop in my mind, but uh, whatever, you can do it like this as well. Some like to use it this way. Okay, so let's go to the outline tool. It works in the spline mode, so let's go to the spline mode first and then select the spline. We have used this uh, before, but I j again wanted to just uh, officially um, go through this tool again. Uh, you can again type in values in here. Let's type in 10 centimeters, for example, and you will see that we have an outline or an offset. Uh, more traditionally, this is called offset uh, from that uh, selected spline. Let's undo this and type in 5, for example. Uh, if it goes inward and you want it to go outward, then you can just change the sign of the uh, number you enter. Like let's type in minus 5 in here, and you can see that. The outline is outwards this time okay there is five centimeters of uh, thickness in here you can then apply an extrude on top of this for example and you can see that we have an outline in there uh, let's go back to the spline uh, what uh, actually i'm going to leave extrude in here I, i'm just clicking the uh, one step below in this modifier stack and in here what you can do is really cool is you can click on this show and result button and if you do that you will see the end result with the extrude modifier applied to the model which is very cool because now still you can change the shape let me show that to you if i go to the segment mode select the segment for example and pull this you can see that real time you can see the end result and this will help us a lot during um, modeling uh, complex stuff periods of this <laughs> tutorial series uh, and you will find it very useful uh, all jokes aside <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, I'm going to. I, what I want to do with this is I'm going to undo this. I'm going to just delete the exterior uh, spline in here, and it will leave us with this shape. You can, by the way, if this confuses you, you can click again and see the uh, exact spot you are uh, in the modifier stack where you are in the modifier stack. And now I can just go to the vertex mode, select all the vertices. Let's chamfer these, for example, 10 centimeters, and then let's. Let's outline these the, uh, this spline f uh, minus five centimeters, and then let's apply the extrude again. And you can see that you can create a different uh, variety of shapes with these tools only. Okay, and you already know how to draw lines, so you can draw a line and just apply fillet, chamfer, outlines, uh, whatever, and try to imitate whatever you wanna uh, model first. The thing I asked in the previous lesson still stands. If you create new shapes, if you create models and you have questions or you just want to show them off, just go to our Facebook group. Uh, you can search for CG Cave in Facebook uh, and just share, uh, become a member and share your uh, stuff in there. And I'm going to just uh, write some feedback for you and you, you will find it very uh, helpful, uh, the group. We have done this uh, in another a YouTube channel and it, it's really helpful uh, for me as well because the uh, community will uh, answer each other's questions and it will be uh, much faster than 
me going through all the questions every day and answering them. Okay, thanks for listening. Uh, I hope this was useful for you. If you find it useful, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. And uh, thanks for listening. See you in the next lesson.